Hello everyone, welcome to EarthID YouTube channel. In this video, let me show you how to create a frequency tables in SPSS software. A frequency table is a statistical tool that used to organize and summarize the data by counting the number of observations that fall into each value. It provides a clear and concise way to understand the distribution of values within a data set. In this tutorial, I already prepared 15 data sites about host size. To create the frequency tables, go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then select Frequencies. You see a dialog box here that you can choose the variable you want to analyze. Click it and hit the arrow button to move it to the variables box and then make sure the display frequency tables option at the bottom check it okay don't forget to check this option and then click ok now you see the frequency tables is already uh, calculated in your output window in the frequency column we see the number of each frequency for each data we see the two value for data 36 which means two people have a house size of 36 square meters. We also see 3 for the value 40, which means 3 people have a house size of 40 square meters, and so on. At the end of the row, we have the highest value from our data line. There is one person who has 81 square meters of the house size. Next, there is percent column. In this column, we see the percentage of the frequency to the total of the data. In the first row, we see 13.3% for data 36, which means 13.3% of total data have a host size of 36 square meters. In the next row, it tells us that 20% of people have a host size of 40 square meters and so on. In the last column, we see the cumulative percentage column. The cumulative percentage is the total accumulation from each row to all the row above it. In the second row, we see there is 33.3%, which is the sum of 40 data and data 36, which means 30.3% of people have a host size of 40 square meters or less. At the last row, you will see the total is 100%. Now, your frequency table is ready to serve. Another question is, can we do some modification when we want to create this output table? I mean, can we short the output table based on the highest value to the lowest value? Or maybe we can create this output table based on the frequency count. Actually, you can do this. Now, let's go back to the data view window and create another frequency table. Go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and select Frequencies. Here. Select the variable that we want to create the frequency tables and click the arrow button to move it to the variable box and then click the format options. Here, SPSS provides four options so you can short the data based on certain conditions. For ascending values options, it means you can short the data from the lowest value to the highest value. For descending values options, which means you can short the data from the highest value to the lowest value. For ascending counts options, which means you can also short the data based on the frequency of the data. Here, we can short the data from the lowest frequency to the highest frequency. And at the descending counts options, which means we can also short the data from the highest frequency to the lowest frequency. Let's make it uh, for the next uh, table for the descending counts. Continue. Let's make sure the display frequency tables are checked, and then hit the OK button. Here, you have the new frequency tables, uh, and it is shorted from the highest frequency to the lowest frequency. You can also do some modification here based on your needs. That's it. See you in another video.